All right, continuing on. So, looking at what we have here. Now, what we have is the, the stock 15.6 monitor from the AMD back box carefully removed <laughs> very very carefully and you have it laid out here I have a 24 inch I believe that's an HP monitor that I was using and now it's going to be a dedicated back glass and this becomes the DMD and I got uh, three and a half Boss Audio speaker is pretty good I've used these before um, they're full range um, they actually have really good response um, 50 watt speakers so <laughs> really really oh, 50 watt peak I don't know what the RMS is but they're, they're really really strong speakers in, in, in such a small package um, <clears throat> yeah so we're just going to uh, figure out uh, so the plan is to Cut this maybe about here, right? And then cut it out maybe out there, and then just use this as is, you know, frame it around. But yeah, this is already routed out perfectly to the depth it needs to be, and then just use it as is. So that is the uh, that is the plan. Um, so I'll have to take take apart the back glass, but that shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, that's about it. Um, we also finally put together the computer, so we got the open, open frames. So it's just this uh, uh, mini AT, uh, micro ATX frame. Um, so everything's nice and neatly put together in a package. Uh, so we got a power supply, uh, TTX 980. Uh, I don't think you need anything more for uh, GPX and uh, uh, Pinball FX3. Uh, the monitor on the ALP is 1080p, so you can't really, unless you change that to a 4K monitor, you're not really getting anything more, so you don't need 4K. So this, is, this is more than good enough. Um, yeah, this is a i5-6500 stole off of a old uh, um, HP G2 800, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 SSD. You know, nothing special. And you don't need much, much else. This case, I would recommend the case. The only problem is these, uh, uh, this thing right here that they use to uh, affix the, or at least keep the GPU in place. Um, if you can look closely, really. A design flaw here, right? And the flaw is oh, <laughs> trying to show you it's right here. <laughs> so if you were to put the other one over here, right where it would go, right, it would block. So the other, you know, it's. I don't understand why they would do it like that. It makes no sense. Or maybe I'm missing something. It needs to go in the middle. But right now, it's uh, that that is the problem. <laughs> that, that is the problem. I'm looking at it. But with this card, I only need three screens, right? So this thing, you could potentially run five screens with this card. So, and there are four screens available, right? I gotta zoom out. So there are four screens available. And this fifth one cannot use it, so that is the big issue with that. Otherwise, uh, um, it's really nice, uh, low profile, um, space saving, you know. Everything is mounted nicely and neat, so you don't need PCB feet, and you don't need to figure out how to mount that. Um, yeah, so it's good to go. All right, so we just finished making this hole, and we did not use a hole saw. Um, we made a perfect circle without using a hole saw. And we use uh, a dremel. It's kind of like a compass. 
right? So you have a pivot point and then you have this thing. So this came with the Dremel 4000. So those of you who don't have a hole saw, make a perfect circle. I'm upside down, so I don't know if you can see that, but. Yeah. Cuts a clean hole. All right, so there we are so far. We've mounted the solenoids. So we have two for the flippers, two for the, uh, the bumpers or the slingshots. And we have bumpers and whatnot in the back. So three, total of seven in this cabinet. Right. This is gutted. And we have all this mess. <laughs> getting there all right Whew. where are we at now just a quick little update showing you progress all right what do we have we have three solenoids mounted in the back wired up four solenoids mounted in the front wired up step it back all right so we have these uh, boards uh, made by Cleveland Software. So I got the DIY kit, the non put together, just the parts because I need to do it custom. So I didn't want to put it together. So for the most part, this right here is whatever a Saint Smart board is made out of, just uh, with all of the. Um, Isol uh, the noise isolated and stuff, all built in and nice, neat little PCB. So, for the, uh, should, should <laughs> not need anything else. All the caps are built in, um, feedback diodes built in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, tomorrow, the plan is to mount those, one over there, one on the other side, one back there somewhere, and then the opposite side. So, and as you've seen, I've got this nice, beautiful hole dub done by a Dremel. <laughs> uh, so it's, uh, I got a, a 6.5 inch sub, and I think I cut that hole about four and a half inch, All right? So it's 6.5 to the out edges, but there's uh, the actual area doesn't go that far. So, so that should be good enough. Um, yeah, and don't mind a mess. <laughs> That's what happens when you are a building. There's a sub. Boop. What you were meant to be. Boop. And just zoop, 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 zoop. Tie it down. Call it a day. Yeah, so once I get, I think I need some more wire. I gotta wire these boards to the Saint Smart board. USB coming out of the Saint Smart. Um, power uh, to a power I think this is uh, 12 volts right and I'm just like half tempted to use my uh, my PC power supply for it you know I am thinking here I got all this power here all this extra power 500 watts um, why couldn't I just power that board with the power supply since it's 12 volt? Man, I'm thinking of going that way and that'll make it nice and clean. I don't need an extra power supply in there. Although, I didn't ask for a power supply, but uh, they sent me a power supply. This one here. So, but this is that, uh, I guess you can't really give these away. These things are 
probably just throw this out. I don't think this is gonna be good anyways, how light it feels. So this is that Altubi, Alt, whatever the crap it is, it's bad. Right? You can feel that. It's funny, this one right here, it's smaller than it, but it's much heavier. So this is the Meanwell one, right? This is the one, you know, if you were gonna give me something, you give me the Meanwell, you don't give me this cheap piece of crap. Right? So, and I don't think I'll need the Meanwell either. We'll see. We'll see how much stuff we're, we're powering with that, uh, with the PC, you know, and these, things you know you plan on only two or three firing at a time right two or three of those firing at a time um and they're about 15 watts each so that's 45 watts right yeah I'm, I'm, i am strongly considering powering that with the uh, the pc power supply But unless something else needs 12 volt power and I don't have enough juice in that power supply. Or perhaps I have to do some power budget in, right? I mean, since it's just there, I can just upgrade the, uh, the power supply to so it's EVGA 500 gold, right? So it's a really good power supply. Not platinum, but gold is good enough. So, but if I move up, then I'm thinking if I just swap that power supply, I can power all the 12 volts because the uh, the amps are going to be 12 volts. Um, yeah, so I, I can power just about everything from it. I'll have to do my research and see how much. Do a power budget, see how much everything is is, uh, is consuming, see if that will work. But that would be the cleanest, just have a single form. Well, I can't get away with not having that one um, because of their proprietary uh, connections in the back there. But uh, if I can just have a single power supply, that would be, or, or the single after market power supply that would probably be, be the best because we for that power supply we have the uh sata the sata to uh bnc or not bnc sorry barrel barrel jack converter so yeah 